Something just doesn't seem right. Um, oh, give me a second. Much better. So what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your favorite mask collector's favorite mask collector, AJ Good, here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have a mask unboxing, but not just any mask unboxing. Today's piece comes to us from someone who vanished like over five years ago. I literally haven't heard their name in like five plus years, and we've got a box from them right here, right now. Right now! And right now! And after going over to their Instagram page and seeing their recent activity, I had a pretty good idea as to what exactly we've got here, so I figured if I'm thinking that it's a Halloween type piece, we should go ahead and decorate for Halloween. It is officially spooky season after all, right? So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump on into the box. What we have here is a piece from Michael Ortega. That is right. That name probably sounds familiar to some of you old school House of Masks viewers. And if it doesn't, then let me tell you, Michael Ortega was kind of on top of the game there for a little bit. He had hands down some of the nicest and most accurate Volume 3 and All Hope is Gone Jim Root masks. And now it looks like he's kind of doing some new stuff. So we'll get rid of the box there and we will stop it. We will take off some of this packing material and expose the mask and I will do my best to show you guys the mask first. I did not realize that this was like a silicone piece. That's pretty crazy. But there you have it. What do you think? Is it spooky? Is it crazy? Is it better than what you expected? I'm going to turn it around now and take a look for myself and see exactly what mask he sent. Drum roll, please. Wow, dude, that is actually super, super epic. I love this thing. There are so many different elements of like legendary mask makers in this piece that I'm noticing already. Now, what I mean by that is that we have obviously got some John Autumn bully type mask inspiration in this thing. If you can't see that, then you are crazy. But I also feel like we've got some like Alex a goth and cloth inspiration in this. There's a lot of shadow masks inspiration in here. I feel like it's very obviously a nod to the Red Angel and I just realized that I said Alex's name and a goth and cloth on this channel for the first time in a long time and probably the last time for a long time because fuck that dude. Fucking nut job. Anyways, what we've got here is a pretty astounding, spooky ass piece straight from Michael Ortega. Now, it appears that Michael is going under a new studio name. I do not remember the one that he had back in the day when he was doing those volume three gyms. It's just been a long time. We've done a lot of stuff since then, okay? Give me a break. But I will let you guys know that the new studio name is Morgue Studios. Now, obviously, after having so many gyms and still having them in my collection from Michael back in the day, I knew that what Whatever piece he was going to send was going to be quality, but I had no idea that it was going to be something like this. The mask is sick from the sculpt to the finish, but I had no idea that it was going to be a silicone piece. That's pretty crazy. And I've also got to say that on top of owning pieces from him from his past, as well as seeing this exact mask on his Instagram account, the photos just don't do it justice. Like seeing it here in person, there are so many layers and textures and cool little features in the sculpt and even on the finish. I would say that, you know, maybe if I could take something away from this, I'm not a crazy fan of the bullet horns. I'm not really a fan of like horns in general a lot of the time. I think that kind of maybe a less is more, but that's like the only thing that I'm like not dead set on on this mask. I think everything else is great. I think that the very subtle, very bland paint job that this thing has really does wonders. I am all for less is more. I'm all for subtlety and this piece is extremely subtle. The sculpt is very, very nice. The finish is very, very nice. The colors used are very, very nice. 
And the fact that it's silicone, I still, I just can't get over that. Like, look at that shit. So yeah, dude, nice silicone piece, great sculpt, but something that gets overlooked a lot of times in these reviews is the strapping. I feel like that's an art form of its own. Now, obviously, we've got a leather strap on the top there that goes to this O-ring, and then all of the other straps are going to be elastic, and they're white, which for some reason looks really, really good on this grayed out, fleshy type mask. So I wanted to make sure to point out the uh, straps on this because I feel like the straps just don't get enough love anymore. Like we're so used to seeing crazy strap jobs with different Slipknot replicas and Slipknot inspired pieces that a lot of the time I just look them over and wow, I just realized how sick the inside of this mask was. I guess I haven't held it down like this so the light wasn't hitting the inside very well. But the inside of this mask might actually be cooler than the outside. What a weird fucking, I don't even know how to explain this. It's like translucent, but also glittery or something. I don't know. Look at the inside of this thing. That's fucking cool, right? What the hell, man? What the hell? The mask just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Anyways, I wanted to shoot a quick video unboxing, reviewing, and showing this piece off because I feel like getting into the spooky season, we need to throw the train in overdrive, and we're doing it early. We're doing it in August because who cares? Shit, man, fuck it. And I felt like this was a very nice, independent artist spooky mask that goes right along with the Halloween season. So, shout out to Michael Ortega over at Morgue Studio. Thank you very, very much, sir. I definitely appreciate this thing, and it will have a very happy home here at the House of Masks. I think I already know where I want to put it. Hey, that's what she said. If you guys would like to check his stuff out, of course, I'm going to be dropping his information down below in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment to make it very easy for you guys to go check him out. Make sure to go show him some love and let him know that the House of Masks sent you, and maybe he'll keep hooking us up with cool stuff in the future. Future! Real quick, because I'm a professional YouTuber, I just had to go back in our DMs to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. There was no note in the box, and I don't want to brush over any sort of talking points that the artist requests, so I wanted to go to the DMs and make sure that I wasn't doing that exactly. So, uh, just something to point out, he said that this mask does have some sort of like glow paint job to it. Uh, maybe in the hero shots at the end of the video, I can get this thing to glow and show it off in that manner. He also said it's silicone. Every single one of these is a one-off. So if you go over to his page, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All of the masks are pretty similar. I think they're all done on the same sculpt, but all of the paint jobs and the finishes are going to be different. So you will get a one-off version of the mask. And I think that that pretty much covers it. So now I can get back to my thank yous. Again, thank you, Michael Ortega, Morgue Studio. Go check them out, guys, and you guys. Thank you! Who, me? Oh, God, for sake. The guy talking to me? Okay. No, not you. I think he's talking to you. Yeah, no, who, I'm me? To Thank you very, very much to the viewer. You, yourself, the person watching this right now. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yeah, no, who, I'm me? Talking to the six years... No, I'm talking to the six-year-old. Yeah. Me? Thank you very, very much for being here and for supporting the House of Masks. I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you've been enjoying the content, of course. Now, with all of that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this video the same way that we end all of the unboxings and reviews on this channel, and that is with what? Yeah! Yes, some nice up-close shots of this piece to show off all of the beautiful, beautiful detail. So, until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to one-off pieces, and we will see you guys in the next one.